Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we are going to talk about Dungeons and Dragons, Book of Many Things, Chapter 2, Key, okay? And we are specifically going to talk, so we, we go into Book of Many Things, BOMT, right? Uh, B-O-M-T, Book of Many Things. And we see this um, in Chapter 2, Key, it said, it, you just, you read a couple paragraphs, and it says, preparing to use the deck, right? And this is a header, right? And it's it's daunting. It is daunting. You're like, oh, you, well, there's deck, you know, like book of many things. There, there's the deck of many things. And it's like, no, 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 stop. You need to prepare to use the deck. You need to prepare to use the deck. And, what I, and the reason why is this is astounding what is happening with the book of many things. Stop and think. What is happening with the book of many things, right? Um, and what is happening with the book of many things is what I have been saying all along physically, okay? What I'm saying is that Dungeons and Dragons was never a game. And by the way, I'm not the only one who said that, right? Evangelical Christians said that in 1983 with the Satanic Panic. They're like, hey, there's more to meet the eye here, right? You can't do, read, own this game, right? Then the uh, atheist and agnostic zealots came in 2023 and said, you can't do, read, and own this game. You're not allowed to. There, It's dangerous. You can't do this, right? And so, and one of the reasons why is... In 1983, they were like, hey, do you understand? You're emulating the world with Dungeons and Dragons. How will people know where Dungeons and Dragons ends and the real world begins? What do you think just came out with Book of Many Things, right? That is literally Dungeons and Dragons extending itself physically into the real world. Chapter one, Fool, right, of Bompti says, this has been in the game since 1975. The deck of many things is as old as Dungeons & Dragons itself. Now, going into our 50th year, Book of Many Things drops in year 50. We are in the 50th year of Dungeons & Dragons history right now. And you know what Dungeons & Dragons is doing with Bompty? It is literally saying this magical item it's a magical item that has been inside Dungeons and Dragons since the very beginning is now outside of Dungeons and Dragons in the real world. Do you understand that? Right? And you're like, well, uh, it was always that way. No, it was not. In 1975, when they brought the deck of many things, they're like, oh, no, no, no. This is a magic item. You can only emulate it. You can only emulate it, right? And you need to use all the face cards and the ace and the joker, and there's only 18 cards in the deck. And none of these look... And, and that piece of garbage that you pulled out of your mom's you know, like a uh, kitchen table. And now she has a broken deck with a bunch. She's like, where are all the face cards? Right? Because you're over at your friend, you know, Sally's, you know, using her, you know, her cribbage deck as the deck of many things. That was a horrible, crude emulation. But do you know what is in the book of many things? 60, car 66 cards. 66 cards, gold leaf, right? Oversized. They didn't just use the, the MTG printers. They were like, no, 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 no. Don't use those garbage MTG printers. I need this oversized card. I need these gold leaf on the edge. Gold. This is Dungeons and Dragons. Gold. It's got to look real. It's got to fit. It's got to feel real. It's got to be real. It's got to be real, right? And and the art on the cards is not like there's no printing on them. It's just there's no text on them, right? It's just the picture, right? This and it is built from the ground up. 
to be a divining object, right? This is Dungeons and Dragons saying, this was a figment of the imagination. Now it is real. You are holding the deck of many things in your hand. And it's bigger and broader and more expansive and more innovative and more important than it has ever been. And where does it go? It goes in a container that is exactly the size of every single Dungeon Dragons canon book. And it is the book of many things. The book of many things. The ramifications of the bomb of Bomti even existing is magnificent. The ramifications are broad. Do you understand? This is Dungeons and Dragons pushing itself into the real world, saying we are no longer containing ourselves to the book. What comes in the next book, right? What comes in the next book? Is it Dritz's iconic sword? And you're like, whoa, no, Scott, it can't be. This product was $100. Why can't the next one be 1000 There you go. This is Dungeons and Dragons pushing itself into the real world, in my humble opinion. Every single word you just heard is my humble opinion. Nothing more and not a thing less. What's important is when I hear your humble opinion. When you get in the content, comments, and send your traffic. Please consider liking and subscribing, and have a wonderful millennium.